In this video I want to talk about four specific trigger effects in a framer which you're going to use very often and that is going to be the on appear, on scroll, layer in view and the section in view. So I want to give you a high level as to when you should use one or the other and what is the difference really between these types of triggers. So these effects uh, are going to help you create dynamic and interactive websites uh, by responding to how users interact with the page, particularly in terms of visibility and scrolling and the how it's uh, extremely important. So let's start uh, with uh, the on appear. The on appear trigger activates uh, an effect uh, when an element first appears in the viewport. So this is going to be useful for animating elements uh, as they come into view, adding visual interest and drawing attention to new content. So you can think about uh, a use case uh, where you might use on appear for elements that should uh, animate uh, or reveal themselves uh, as uh, the user scrolls uh, down the page, uh, such as images, text blocks, uh, or any interactive component really. So let's uh, have a look uh, and uh, let's uh, create uh, an element on appear for this specific one. I'm going to click on effects, I'm going to click on appear and uh, at this point uh, what we're going to do is we're going to simply say fade in and uh, as we go down you're going to notice that uh, this element uh, is now visible but uh, there was a time frame which was a bit too short for my liking so let's uh, continue and explore the other effects which we have at our disposal since in some instances uh, such as this one you might want to consider one of the next ones now let's talk about the second one which is on scroll now the on scroll trigger activates uh, an effect uh, continuously as the user scrolls this allows for dynamic uh, scroll based interactions that change uh, based on the user's scroll position so you can think about uh, a typical use case uh, where on scroll is perfect for creating parallax uh, effects uh, adjusting the opacity or position of elements uh, or even triggering animations uh, that follow the scroll progress so even for example you could think about uh, a header that changes size or opacity as the user scrolls uh, or even elements that move at different speeds uh, to create a parallax scrolling effect so if we go ahead and uh, we try a very basic uh, on scroll you're going to notice uh, the dynamism of uh, this element now it's not uh, appearing right away but you can see that as i go up and down uh, there is uh, this trigger which uh, is not working uh, correctly compared to <laughs> what we would uh, like to do but uh, you can see that the content is dynamic on scroll so we're not going to go ahead and uh, tweak this as that is not the purpose of the video but i just wanted to show you live uh, how this uh, interactivity of the scroll based interaction works now we're going to talk about layer in view now the layer in view trigger activates uh, an effect uh, when uh, a specific layer or element becomes visible in the viewport so this trigger is particularly useful for ensuring that important elements get animated attention when they enter the user's view. So you can think about a typical use case uh, scenario where you can use layering view for key sections of your website that should animate when they come into view, ensuring the user notices them. And uh, even more, for example, that this could be a call to action button that grows or highlights uh, when it comes into view, or a product feature section that animates uh, each feature into view as the user scroll so if we try this again and we're simply going to keep the default setting here you can see that at the moment that i scroll into view this is actually more close to what we want but as i scroll out of view the element is not visible anymore and if i scroll back again it becomes visible and uh, so on and so forth so this is actually quite a good use case for this specific scenario. Now let's move on to the very next one, which is going to be the section in view.
Now, the section in view trigger activates an effect when an entire section of the page enters the viewport. So this is going to be ideal for larger content blocks or full screen sections that should have a cohesive entry animation. So compared to the layering view, here we're going to identify an entire section. Now the use case uh, could be of uh, sections in view is uh, often used for full width uh, sections of our site, uh, such as hero banners, feature sections, contact areas, or anything that you need to animate as a whole as they come into view. So even a testimonial section where each testimonial card animates in as the section comes into view. And it's useful to notice that uh, you, first of all, are going to need to select a section compared to the layering view. And uh, you can also decide at which uh, part of the viewport this is going to register. So this is going to be a key difference between what we explored in a layering view. And in future videos, we're going to see some practical applications of some of these effects and triggers.